Okay, and the last thing we're going to talk about here on the podcast, we we got to take a three. We got to we got to get back on the road to March Madness before Ricky blows a gasket because I think he already blew one. I was close. I was close. I do hate like I I hate Grayson. I almost called him Christian Leitner again because that's what I see. I see Christian Leitner in Grayson Allen, just the connection there. But we got to we got to get back on the road to March Madness, and the big thing. This is all going to get sorted out during Champ Week, Brandon. But everyone, including their grandmothers on ESPN, CBS, Fox, wherever you watch your college basketball, they're all talking about this, so we're going to talk about it too. I'll ask you a plain and simple question. Who is going to be our one seeds in March Madness this year? Who do you think earns them via Champ Week? Well, I think our, our first one seed is Kansas. I, I think that that okay. is, I think that that's an easy one to take a look at, with with Kansas where they are right now. I think that they're probably going to be the um, number one team when the next rankings come out. So that's at least that's where I have them. I think Kansas has a one seed. I think that the second one seed. And this one could be interesting. You may not agree, but I think after a big win over the weekend, I think we're going to see Virginia as a one seed as well. If they win the ACC tournament, yes. Because that would mean they would either have to beat UNC again, or if UNC loses early on in the ACC tournament, the thing with Virginia is I feel like they have to win. They have to win the ACC tournament for them to be the one seed. That's just me. If North Carolina wins it, then maybe North Carolina's the one seed. But whoever comes out of the ACC, I feel like will be the one seed. And if you think Virginia's going to win the ACC, then yeah, Virginia. I just think that, I mean, North Carolina really has not played extremely well down the stretch there's been a couple of teams that i think that they should have beat they did not do it they have a big win against miami last weekend but they can't get the job done against virginia over the weekend i think the third one seed oklahoma even after the loss to uh texas well the thing is this is with champ week coming in Oklahoma has the hardest battle. The reason being is the Big 12 is tough. The Big, yeah, 12, yeah, the Big 12 has the potential to be the toughest conference in college basketball. We've talked about that on a past podcast because you've got Kansas, who can easily be a one seed. You have Baylor, which can be good. Iowa State can be good. Like yesterday, Sean was running down after we finished the Fast Break podcast. Like, some of the college games, and he's just going, oh, who wins this, who wins that, who wins this? And he got to Kansas State, Iowa State, and I'm like, Kansas State with the upset. And I'm, immediately I'm like, wait, where's it being played? And he's like, in Ames. And I go, oh, yeah, Kansas State. Because before that game, Iowa State has lost some big games in Ames. I know they beat Kansas there earlier in the season, but they've lost some key games at home in Ames. So I, the Big 12 has potentially... The hard, like, that's the conference tournament I want to watch during Champ Week. If it's a, it's close because it's either the Big 12 or the Big 10. Those are the two I want to watch. And then I think the fourth and the final one seed, and we talked about them already today, Michigan State. Yeah, I can buy that. I think that, I because the thing with the Big 10 is the top is weak. And it's weird that I say that because the only team I feel that can upset Michigan State or derail them in the Big Twelve or the Big Ten, pardon me, tournament is Indiana. Indiana's looked good. I thought Indiana was going to take a step back when my line I led at halftime. Then I went to bed, woke up the next morning, and looked at the score, and it was like a double digit, like almost thirty point loss, I think. And I looked at it and went. Whoa, that sure escalated quickly. But what do I expect? My Illini suck, and I hope they get better, which they probably won't. But my one seeds are, I agree with you, Michigan State, I feel like it's going to make a run. They're going to make the 
We're going to come out with our predictions for Champ Week when we get actually closer to the conferences. We'll probably have individual videos previewing the tournaments that we care about, the conference tournaments we care about. But I think Michigan State can win the Big Ten. They'll be a one seed. I would have said Xavier, but earlier today they lost. They lost to Seton Hall, a team that was cursed by us. And we talked about them on the bubble, and they lost right after we uh, talked about them on the podcast. So I was I would have said they would be a number one seed, but they lost to Seton Hall. I'm going to go with Michigan State, North Carolina, Kansas, Ah, uh, here's the big one. Does Villanova get a one seed? That's the thing. And to me, it all comes down to, let, let me ask this question. You can help me out with it, Brandon. If Villanova wins their conference, do they get a one seed? If they lose it, does Xavier get the one seed in retrospect? If Kansas had already taken the Big 12's one seed. Or do we see a double one seed from, like, the ACC or the Big 12? I think we'll see a double one seed. I really do. I don't think Villanova will end as strong as they'd like to, and I think that that will bump them from the number one seed. They'll go to a two. You know who I'd really like to see get a one seed, but they have to win the ACC to do it? The Hurricanes. What, what would you do? Like, what would be your reaction if... We woke up Selection Sunday. The Hurricanes had won the ACC tournament and got a one seed. Would you legit, 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 would they be, would it, would it be legit? Yeah, would they be legit threats to go to the, all the way to the final four? As no. I'm tongue tied. No, I don't think so. I, I do, I, I don't think so. They, they would be good enough to probably make a sweet 16 run, but mm-hmm. that may be it with the, with the Hurricanes. Again, you know, it's really hard to pri- try and predict any anything right now because of the fact we that... We don't know the seedings. We, we don't know seedings, and then even when we do know seedings, it's, okay, you've got Miami faced up against, you know, this team, and this team's good, could play them well. I don't know. You know, it, it it's going to be difficult. There's so much parity, but I just don't see Miami being that team that can go all the way and make a run all the way to like the final Here's four. Here's what Miami's looking at right now. At this point as we are recording, they are the top. They own the tiebreaker over North Carolina for the number one seed. So they'd play either the eight or the nine. However, Louisville, we got to take out there. So the eight or nine seeded team would be Syracuse would play Clemson. Then the winner of that game would play the Hurricanes in the quarterfinals because if you're unaware how the ACC tournament works, how many of the tournaments now work is the top four seeds get a double bye. The first two days of the tournament, they're sitting. Then you have um, eight, five through, I want to say it's 10, have a one-game bye. And then the 11th seed through the 14th seed, they play on the first day, which is March what is it, March 8th is that first day, they're the ones that play and have to run the table the whole way. So it looks like Miami, unless they fall into the top five, which I don't think is mathematically possible, you only need three wins to win the ACC tournament. That's true. I just don't see I don't see the Canes doing anything. So before I sign it off, the last thing we'll do really quickly, one more time, your one seeds for everyone to ridicule down in the comment section gosh now let me try and remember them okay so i think i went with kansas virginia oklahoma and michigan state and i am gonna go with north carolina no particular order by the way north carolina i'm gonna go with kansas michigan state and it was that last one that i was debating i'm gonna go xavier i think xavier runs the table wins their conference upsets villanova Gets a one seed in the end. Villanova's a two seed and gets bounced in the second round. And Maybe at the, in the first and round. And at the end of the day, no one cares about Xavier or Villanova, so it really won't matter. I don't know, man. We have a subscriber, Wild, our Kentucky underscore Wildcat underscore 18. Confusing name, but he's a Xavier fan. 
So well, I think he cares about the Musketeers. Well, God bless him. But, you know, I, I don't think that, uh, tell, you know, give me here. How about this? How about this? I hope that that listener, that subscriber listens to this probably swears at me, mm-hmm. and then tell me, why is Xavier good? Because after watching okay. them today, okay. they were crap. I can buy it. I can buy it. Tell me why they're good. Tell me why I should not be a doubter, a hater, or all the other errs that you could throw out there. Drinking the hater raid. Tell me why they're good. Tell me why Xavier could make a run and why I should be taking a look at them as a serious one-seed contender. Well, that's going to do it for the Primetime Podcast. I want to thank you guys for listening. If you're on SoundCloud listening to the podcast, go ahead hit that heart button, hit that repost button. If you haven't already, go ahead hit the follow button so you know when we post the podcast to our SoundCloud page. If you're on YouTube, you can do the same thing. But before you do, hit the like and subscribe button. You're going to get up to date on all the podcasts, all the videos. You can follow me on Twitter at Ricky Widmer. You can follow Brandon and most of our at young underscore swan 19 most valuable podcast is at most valuable pod you can get all of this though in one stop and that's most valuable podcast.com we're also on itunes if you're an itunes user everything is on the website though go check it out most valuable podcast.com i want to thank you guys again for checking out this one and we'll see you in the next one however have a good day everybody thank you for listening to this mvp podcast Follow us on Twitter at Most Valuable Pod for more great podcasts.